Yo, welcome back everybody to a brand new Pokemon TC Live Shadow Fable deck video, and today we're going to be looking at Quad Thorns in the new format. And this deck actually feels like it got a bit of a buff with the new set, and that's all thanks to one brand new card that I really think elevates this deck, and that is Colrus's Tenacity. Now, this card, well, it is really interesting. Obviously, it also enables Kyurem, which is kind of funny. It actually ends up being a very useful supporter for Iron Thorns EX. Of course, it has the ability to search deck for a stadium and an energy and put them into your hand. This basically allows you to grab a free energy for your Iron Thorns, especially a double turbo energy, which is a very important card to find. And it also lets you get Lost City, another very important card for this deck to find. So Colrus ends up being one of the most useful new upgrades for the deck. The other buff is that a lot of the big decks right now really do rely on basic abilities from V Pokemon and EX Pokemon in order to function. Like Raging Bolt, Charizard, and Raging Drago all rely pretty heavily on Ogre Pond, Pheasantipity, Mew, Squawkabilly, Luminion, Rotom. Charizard is even starting to cut Bibril now, which is a pretty big deal. And if they're cutting the Bibril and they're relying more on the VEX support package, Iron Thorns EX becomes a lot more deadlier. Of course, his ability initialization, as long as it's in the active spot, Pokemon with the rule box in play have no abilities except for EXs and Vs. Um, and this is pretty deadly. Again, with a lot of decks right now relying on V and EX abilities, Thorns becomes a very big nuisance. Um, because this deck is really just four Iron Thorns. That's it. Four Iron Thorns. That's your Pokemon. No hands, no Maridon, no Iron Crown, just Iron Thorns. And the point of the deck is to just be as annoying as possible. And if decks can't play their abilities, most of the time they can't play the game and we can just run them over. Cards like Crushing Hammer end up being very annoying because you can remove energy off their Pokemon. Very good against Charizard. Um, again, Lost City is very important to remove resources. Mainly good against stuff like Gardevoir where they can use Fluttermane against you, but you can Lost City their Fluttermane, and that becomes a big issue. Really good against Mimikyu, too. If Gardevoir plays Mimikyu, you can Lost City their Mimikyu and also play a Canceling Clone, which ends up being kind of useful, too, to get rid of the Mimikyu. And like I said, the course Tenacity is just a great upgrade. Just getting Lost City and Energy for free is insane. A lot of the time, a Pokegear can turn into a Double Turbo Energy, which is a very important resource to have. Instead of using Arvin for Energy Lotto, which used to be the original way you'd find the Double Turbo, now we can just use Colrus to guarantee us DT and also gets us the free Lost City. And honestly, if we're playing against Reggie Drago and they cure him us with a Colrus in the discard pile, who cares? All their energy get discarded anyways. And without Ogre Pond's ability, good luck getting that energy back onto another Drago in time to recover from that. And of course, big shout out to the sponsor, Card Cavern TCG. Of course, if you're going to get any Pokemon, TC Live Pack Codes, get them over at Card Cavern. Card Cavern does the codes line for the cheapest. So if you're picking up any shrouded Fable Codes, get them over at Card Cavern. Of course, you're going to pick up any IRL product or TC Singles 2. Card Cavern does all that over there. If you do get anything at Card Cavern at the checkout, use my discount code, code LDF for a 5% discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and up our Card Cavern. So shout out to Card Cavern. Check them out. Use code LDF, link down below. Also, check out my second channel down below, too. I just did a video where we looked at the first weekend of shrouded Fable term results, and Charizard didn't have a great performance in online tournaments not gonna lie so if you want to maybe see charizard flopping a little bit in the online tourney scene check out my second channel down below so yeah here is the list once again for the deck um pretty straightforward with what we've been playing from past iron thorns list we are playing that legacy energy it is by far the best a spec for the deck um i really like the double vacuum kind of want to play three vacuum in all honesty wouldn't be bad either i've seen some thorn lists play other tools like bravery charm or even a uh, handheld fan which isn't a bad idea either uh, we are playing three Judge, three Iono. The hand disruption is really good against decks like Charizard. If they end up doing like Cleffa or even Reggie Drago tends to play Cleffa, you just go Judge, knock out Cleffa. That's not very good for them. So three Judge is really important to play. Um, three Research, three Iono. We are playing the double Colrus. We had to make something. Uh, we had to cut something for the Colrus, but Colrus is just such a useful card within the deck. I think it is worth playing two copies of it. Um, maybe wouldn't mind playing a Hisuian Heavy Ball. A lot of the time at Legacy Energy, a lot like what happens is your opponent needs to go through four Iron Thorns EX when Legacy Energy does activate. And if your opponent can't remove Legacy Energy, they do have to go through four of them. So maybe a Heavy Ball could be good. If you end up prizing Thorns and you can't find it, it actually ends up being pretty problematic for you. Uh, we are playing four Boss. Some other supporters I've seen are Eerie, Giovanni's Charisma. I've also seen Thorns playing Zerosic. I actually tried Zerosic originally, and honestly, I just found it to be a dead card. I didn't really use it all that often, so I cut the Zerosic from the deck, but Zerosic is something I've also seen being played with an Iron Thorns, too. Um, I don't know if it's really all that good in here. Um, but yeah, let's go show off Thorns in action and show off why this deck got a buff with Colrus. All right, we're up against Charizard here. I'm like 90% sure it's Charizard. Those sleeves are a dead giveaway. Um, our turn one's pretty good. We can just attach pass. We have boss. We have Iono. Because ideally, we want to be bossy. And the thing against Charizard is they don't have their abilities, so like they basically have to attach every turn, and then we can just keep bossing them. I could have put the DT on, but I can't run the risk of them having an enhanced hammer. That's why it's like kind of interesting. It's like, if you have the DT, do you attach the DT first, or do you wait to play it? No Cleffa's good. 
But in order to go Cleffa, they would have to retreat in energy, which obviously it's one less energy they have. Might just chill and knock him out. Yeah, they don't have an energy attachment. You want to basically hold on a boss until they, like, play an energy or something. Just going to knock him out. Maybe could have played Arvin, to be honest, but I'm fine. Just KO them here. Not playing any other cards. Mate. Maybe make them not want to Iono me. I guess they could unfair stamp me. Um, yeah, they could unfair stamp. I maybe could have just got rid of the vacuum and then grabbed the Iron Thorns. I didn't want to bench any Thorns, so... Okay, we'll see what they do. They can't win this turn. They can get Rode on. They have Arvin in hand, probably, for Forest Seal. Or they just had the Forest Seal in their hand. Why not? Sure. Hmm. Yeah, we have Boss. So we can Boss the Charizard up and then hit it. We need to find Hammer, too. Maybe just Research. I don't know. Because they may just Iono me, right? We'll see what they do. We could get Unfair Stamped. We do have a lot of supporters, though. It's not the end of the world if we get Unfair Stamped. But uh, let's see if that's what they decide to do. We'll see what they Rotom for here. Um, see what they grab off of Rotom. They either want to get a Charizard out, <clears throat> or they want to maybe do something else. I don't know. They could have Enhanced Hammer, which could be a little annoying. This would be a where Colrus Tenacity would be nice. Because then I can start Lost Sitting the Charmanders away. So we'll see what they end up grabbing here with this Rodom. What's that one card in their hand looking like? Let's see. There's a fire. And they attach the bench. Okay, if we don't lose our hand. Oh, they Turo. They Turo the Rodom. Okay. Do they have Stamp still? No Stamp. Okay, so we'll just boss KO the Charmander. Okay, what's our top deck? Nice. So we can attach, bench, boss. Can probably techno radar our way the vacuum. I don't think vacuum is going to be that necessary. Can check our prizes real quick. Do we have legacy energy in the deck? Legacy energy is in there. Okay. Good to know. All right. Volt Cyclone. KO the Charmander. Removing an energy off the board. And smooth that there. The nice thing too is if they don't have a supporter in their hand, uh, that's not going to let them see more cards they're just stuck doing nothing for a while which is maybe their uh their uh, issue here so we'll see what that ends up mattering because like yeah currently they can't play any supporter cards and they have an arvin but will arvin really be that much let's see they can't i mean we'll say they have canceling clone i doubt it though if they go into cleffa we could always iono them in order to go into cleffa though most likely they would have to retreat and there's duskall and charmander let's see what else they grab here no energy attachment is good, too. There's Counter Catcher. That's fine. We got Arvin. And just a pass. All right. We're going to take another knockout here. Let's go Arvin for the future booster capsule and probably Earthen Vessel. Hammer is not bad, either, to be honest. I'm probably going to research, though, next turn. I think it's fine. Just grab more energy. So not really, not really looking to bench any thorns right now. We want to keep our board, like, double thorns. I'm fine to just do this. Let's knock them out. They haven't played Niono yet. They also haven't done Unfair Stamp. So we can just sit here and just kind of pick away at their uh, Pokemon until they find something. They could Dusclops me. I don't think Dusclops really matters. If anything, it helps me because it gives me more prizes. It just makes it easier for me to win the game. Because, like, even if they set up a Charizard, if they haven't Dusclops, you know, I'm going to just boss twice. Maybe and I win. Probably just... Do I research next turn? I don't know. We'll see what our top deck is. They just pass. Another prize. Can we get a boss? Hammer. It's pretty good. Definitely want to keep that. All right. Well, Vol Cyclone. We're probably going to be researching in a couple turns. Not next turn, but the turn after. Once we start to run out of energy. Right, let's see what our prize is here. Hey, there's the boss. All right. Well, now we have Hammer Boss. So any time they attach, they're just going to lose. And this is kind of what Charizard might struggle against. I don't think they're playing Bibril in the deck. I feel like they would have grabbed a Bidoof or its prize. But even if they're not playing... Like, the thing is, if Charizard's not playing Bibril, it's like... They really struggle into Thorns because, like, their entire deck revives around abilities. And if they can't play abilities, they can't play the game. And, yeah, they just pass. We could just go boss, attach, knockout. They could Iono me to one, but if they don't put a Pokemon in play that can survive a hit from Thorns, the game just ends. All right, let's see what our prize is here. Last prize is a judge. More supporters. We could even judge them next turn if we have to. I don't know. Research and way all these supporters feels grief, especially the hammer. So maybe judge is on the table, but we'll see. Yeah, they just concede. I mean, they couldn't really play the game. That was like a pretty straightforward match. But if Charizard's really not playing Bibberol or really any good way to draw cards that 
is invibrable. It's like their deck can't function. If their entire deck is abilities that Thorn shuts off, their deck is like very much non-functional. All right, I see an Ogre Paw now. This could be Raging Bolt or it could be something else. And we'll see though. I'm just gonna pass. We have a pretty solid hand. We have Colrus, which can guarantee us Lost City. Now, of course, or Double Turbo, I mean, not Lost City. I mean, it does get us Lost City, but we'll see if it's Bolt or Ogre Pawn. Or Bolt or Drago, I mean, sorry. And it is Raging Bolt, it looks like. And they actually grab Sandy Shocks, which does have Power Gem, which can hit me for weakness, but the first deck does not. There's a Raging Bolt. I mean, they can't really play the game that well. Like, they can't do Teal Dance. They can't Squawk and Seize. They can't Greninja. They can Burst Roar. That is probably their best attack is Burst Roar in this matchup. We do have a pretty good turn one hand. Apart from not having a, like, draw card, it's not that bad. I got Earthen Vessel. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see what they grab here. More energy. So I have the option to attack or Techno Radar. Oh, okay. They had Switch card. All right. That's fine. We'll just Colrus and figure it out. That was a pretty good turn one hand, to be honest with you. All right. Let's see what our top deck is. Anything good? Nice. Okay, so let's Colrus. Grab these two. Pretty good Colrus. Getting this attack's important because they just sent the they can knock me out next turn, so it's pretty important to get the attack. Um Grab more thorns, then up the deck. And we will swing with Vol Cyclone. We can move the Double turbo. I think I have to, right? Because they might have... They probably have the knockout. They just need Sada plus attach. It's probably in their hand, so... Might as well move the double turbo. Then we can Legacy Energy the other thorns. So... We have a pretty good response if they... So, like, okay, best case scenario. They go knockout. We go Iona slash Judge, Vacuum, Legacy Energy, Attack, Knockout. Pretty good stuff. So we'll see if they get the knockout. They Again, they just need a Sada. They're Sada, so they should have the knockout. I would be very surprised if they whiffed here. We have a very good response to their knockout, though. Like, literally, especially if Pokegear gets this Iona or Judge, this hand is cooking. This hand is absolutely cooking right now. Now, they do need to get rid of all the energy to kill me. They have to remove all the energy off the board to knock me out, which is, like, the only issue they're facing, but that's fine. All right, here we go. We will see what we can do. So we have the knockout. Um, we have the vacuum. Yeah, Pokegear just needs to get us a Judge or Iono, and this hand is pretty gas. Or research. I mean, hand disruption is pretty good, though. So we'll see what we can do. What's our top deck looking like? Not what I'm looking for, exactly. Okay, we'll play Pokegear. Ooh, the options are endless. We'll take Iono. Just want to see more cards. We can vacuum. Get rid of the Bravery Charm. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I think Iono's correct. I could judge, because, like, theoretically, I'm putting them closer to finding more Raging Bolt or something, but I think it's fine to Iono. Not a bad Iono hand. We got more stuff for next turn. We get Vol Cyclone, the Double Turbo, and we got another Double Turbo. They could Iono me, I guess, but we'll see, because then we don't have the Double Turbos in our hand. What's our two prizes looking like? Another boss and a Lost City. We have Bump for Pokestop, and we have Boss if they try to play it slow. All right. Pretty good stuff. See what they're able to do here. Can they find more Pokemon? They can find another Raging Bolt and Asada. That could be pretty scary. Um, again, they can't do their abilities. They just kind of have to draw really well to keep up in this match. That's, like, the thing with this matchup. Is while we, we shut off, like, a good majority of their engine, but they can still draw really well. Like, Sada is still a pretty dangerous card for our deck. Like, it's still very scary to deal with. So as long as they draw, like, pretty well, like, it's good. Like, if they have Sada, Raging Bolt here, like, they're still big chilling, to be honest. They're still in a pretty good spot. Let's see. Do they have it? Doesn't look like it. They do not. Magnetic Burst does not cut it as it only does 20. The, but the one thing it does do is it means Raging Bolt kills me for 3 energy, but it's not that big of a deal. We can just skadoosh knock out the Sandy Shocks. And move Legacy Energy on the other Thorns, I guess. Sure. Thorns would be so broken if you had the option to move the energy. All right, let's see we draw. Research, pretty good prize. All right. We're chilling. I guess the one thing we need is, like, a future booster capsule. But it's looking pretty good right now. It's looking pretty good. They can't really do much at the moment. Um, yep, they actually just concede the game. There it is. So the Iono worked. Um, yeah, Raging Bolt is, like, it's it's definitely a matchup that's favored. But it can get close. I mean, Burst Roar, as you saw, 
was extremely useful because it allowed them to get a turn two knockout out of nowhere. Um, but like the matchup is really just like, can your opponent find Sada and Pokemon to put energy on? Like, can they also discard their energy without being able to use Greninja or like Ogre Pond to like draw cards? All right, get into this game with Quad Thorns. Starting off with Iron Thorns, I think we're going first. No energy. Ooh, against Ancient Box. Okay, can we draw anything good? Okay, thankfully we got energy. All right, this hand is pretty solid. We can either Arvin to get energy lotto, or we could Poke Gear for Colris. Maybe. Ooh, they got the Guidance. That's not good. Hmm. The one annoying thing about this matchup is they have Flutter Main, which they can put in the active to activate Greninja for what it's worth. That's a pretty good Explorer's Guidance. Discarding four Ancient Cards is kind of insane. Ooh. I kind of want to judge here. To be honest. I don't know. Kale in the Walking Wake's okay, though, too, if we can pull that off. We'll see. This matchup is, like, kind of scary, though, because they could just ramp up so much damage. Their deck can't really function without raiding Greninja, though, which is, like, the one thing we maybe have going for us. Honestly, I just want to judge, bro. I just want to give him a four-card hand and make him brick, but I don't know. We're going to have to try to, again, energy down this turn. I think we're going to have to either go Gear for Chorus or Arvin for Energy Lotto. Whiffing the attack would be pretty bad, because they most likely have Sada. Like, they had a really good turn one. They got five. No, they got even more. They even found the stadium. All right, that's fine. We got Lost City. This is not good. They are doing too much damage on their first turn, and they haven't even been able to attack me yet. That's, like, not very good for us at all. Yeah, this is not, not very good. They got a Night Stretcher. What did they get back? A moon? Yeah, they got the moon back. All right, let's see what we can do here. So we want to definitely take a knockout this turn. If we draw a double turbo, it would be nice to maybe boss Roaring Moon. That would be really good, actually. Double turbo into gear into boss would be nice. I don't know if we're going to draw DT, though. It's very unlikely, but you never know. It's crazier things have happened. No. Okay, well, let's see if we can find Colrus at least. Okay, we got a Colrus. That's good. I'm not going to bother playing Pokestop. It's kind of a bad idea. Let's we'll do this. Legacy Energy is indeed in the deck. Good to know. But we prize two Iron Thorns. Not good to know. I mean, it's good to know, but it's not good. If that makes any sense. Um, maybe we get one off the prizes. We kind of need one off the prizes here. All right, we can send this to the Lost Zone. Get rid of their Pokestop. Not a bad follow-up. They have Sada in their hand. Can we get Iron Thorns off the prizes? We do not. We do get a Vacuum, though. All right, it's probably going to have to be an Arvin Vacuum Angle here, I think. Next turn. Techno Radar plus Vacuum. This means they get another Booster on. Yeah, Booster Capsule is kind of annoying for us, so... Do they have Sada? Can they win this turn? Probably not, right? Maybe? I guess if they have Explorer plus Pokestop, I, they could get lucky. I doubt it, though. I think we'll be safe for one turn. They have their own gear. Is it going to get the Masada? Unfortunately, it does. Gotta find Hammer, too. Could research the hand away, to be honest with you. I think I'm content with just doing Arvin, though. We need to at least get another Future Thorns down. Unfortunately, I prized two of them, so I literally could lose the game if I don't find my other Thorns. It's pretty bad. Do they have a stadium? No, they got the capsule. We got the vacuum, though. How much are they doing here? Hammer knockout would be good. A hammer top deck would be fantastic. Yeah, I kind of want to hold the hand. We need to make sure we have Lost Cities for the Pokey Stop bump. Oh, they're playing Dark Patch 2. Okay, that's a little annoying. It's not good. We can put plus 2 in the Lost Zone this turn, though, because they're doing 160. Okay, let's see what we draw. Ooh, okay. Well, it's still the Arvin, though, right? Because I still kind of need to get um, future booster capsule. Because I need to make sure I'm taking a prize at least. So no matter what we're doing, Arvin. What am I grabbing? How are we going to... Uh, Vessel's probably the best bet here, to be honest. Crushing Hammer is really tempting, but I mean, the odds they probably have another Sato is like kind of high. I think it's fine. Yeah, they probably have another Sada in their hand anyways. Not a big deal. Question is, am I researching or am I Onoing next turn? I'm probably just going to research, to be honest. I am losing a lot of my Lost Cities, though. I probably shouldn't have Colors for a Lost City when I played that. But I also wanted to thin the deck out to, like, find more useful cards. Either way, we're putting plus two in the Lost Zone, decreasing their damage output, which is good. We will see if it's enough, though. Actually, I, ooh, I should have moved the basic energy on. Because now I need another booster capsule. Misplay alert. <laughs> Okay, we hit a Thorns at least. We're still in the game. Yeah, I should have moved the basic Lightning. That was a misplay too. 
Now we're making a few misplays here, folks. We gotta stop doing that. So I should have moved a basic. I should have moved the basic lightning so I can one shot this roaring moon with my iron thorns on the bench. Yikes. We'll see if they find other booster capsule though. It may not even matter. They have another moon. Do they have a Sada in their hand? No, they have an earthen vessel though, which is pretty good too. Hmm. All right, let's see what they grab. Yeah, this is kind of scary. This matchup doesn't feel very good, not gonna lie. Especially when they have that insane turn one. Okay, let's see what they got. Yeah, we might get punished pretty badly for not moving the basic energy on. I just like kind of was like, oh, DT is a pretty good card. But I'm like, ooh, and then I realized I shouldn't have moved it. So we may... That could honestly lose the game, not gonna lie. That was a bit of a screw up on my end. Nest Ball. Do they have another moon in the deck? No, they have a Flutter main though. It's fine. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see. I might get punished pretty badly for moving that. Oh, boy. So I would have had the knockout here. All right. Well, at least we got our other thorns of the prizes. We'd probably lose if we didn't. They don't have a supporter in their hand, which is good. I don't know what they got off the prizes, but we'll see. Nice. Oh, now we're getting really punished for not doing the attachment. And we flipped heads. Wow. We're actually going to get... We might get uber punished for not moving the basic lightning on. Jeez. It's not good. We could have future booster off this. We did not get future booster. <laughs> Oof, I just got punished so hard. That's just unfortunate on my end. Um, Sure. That's not good. Our hand's not bad for next turn, though. That was a huge miss. That was a huge misplay, though. Because I think I genuinely could win the game if I knock him out. Especially if they don't have a Sada here. And they found the counter stadium. That's not good. See, that's, that's what I was worried about. We lost three lost cities. I have one left. Could Colrus into it next turn. Ooh, they're playing Mooney X. That's not good. They are down another Sada, though, which is nice. Hmm. Mooney X is scary, though. Not gonna lie. I'm not really a big fan of them playing that. We can go Legacy Energy Knockout here, so it's not that bad. We have a decent hand. Can Poke Gear for Colrus, hopefully. Okay, we'll see what my opponent does. I think there's another Lost City in the deck. I think all four are in there. They probably wouldn't have been able to attack me this turn if I literally just did the did the thing. They could have got Sada, though, I guess, off the Greninja. Because they probably would have promoted Flutter Main if I KO'd them here. Um, so it maybe would have just went the same way anyways. But still, there's a crucial knockout whiff. Yeah. Yeah, they had Dark for the thing. It's not good. We got to find another Hammer. I could also Arvin for Crushing Hammer, which might be the play, too. It's either Colors Lost City or Arvin for Hammer. Or we draw Lost City. You know what? That works, too. That's pretty damn good. I don't really even want to play this vessel. I'm just going to pokey gear. Take boss, I guess. Sure. Gear again. There's Arvin. All right. Now we want to go crushing hammer. All right. Here we go. Crushing hammer time, baby. Will it flip heads? It does. That's a huge coin flip. Nice. Let's go. That's a huge heads flip. How many energy are they down? Six now? Pretty good. All right. We know they don't play um, Iono, most likely, so we should be safe from losing our hand, which is nice. So we have Boss and Vessel. We're just chilling. Can we get the other Thorns out of the prizes now? No. Colrus? It's, I mean, I'm out of Lost City, so. We'll see if they have three Pokestop. This is pretty good, though. We'll see what they got. Can they find a Sada here? If they get a Sada, they can stay in the game, and this could get ugly, but we'll see. We will see what they got cooking. Hmm. Let's see. They have six energy. I They play seven, I'm pretty sure. Maybe eight, because they have the Mooney X. Needs a little bit more energy. They have Dark Patch, though. It's probably seven energy. They have one energy in the deck. Could be prized. They're just kind of waiting for Sada. I just have boss. We just go, hey, you whiff? Okay, I'm going to boss here, Roaring Moon. And they don't have it. Yep, see? Where's our top deck? Another DT. Okay. I'll just put that on. Attach this. Boss. Moon. Knock out. Sick. We'll just move the basic lightning over here. And there's another moon gone. Less damage they're doing. What's our prize looking like here? It is another basic lightning. Not bad. We just have boss. They're down. All three Roy moons are in the lost zone. They have one left in the deck. And it could be prized. They may be out of options here. If they find super odd. They can get that Roy Mooney X back. But if they bench it, I'll just boss it up. 
I do want to find those thorns in the prizes, though. Our last thorns is one of our last two prizes. Could end up being relevant. We'll see. I mean, yeah, it's not looking good. They haven't found... I'm surprised they even at least haven't found an Explorer's Guidance. Okay, they got a secret box. So that means Lost City's probably going to go bye-bye now. Because they probably have a third Pokestop. Um, they could knock me out this turn, actually, which is a little bit of a scary thought. Hmm. Thornton, Palpad. What's that one card in their hand, then? Getting rid of the Palpad's pretty important, I think. So what's that one card looking like? Because, like, I feel like you'd want to Palpad your Sodas back. Yeah, what are they grabbing here? Now I'm curious. What's Bro cooking? What are they cooking? Sada, Dark Patch. Yeah, there's Pokey Stop. So they do have a third stop. Yeah, rip Lost City. It's fine. Honestly, Lost City put in a lot of work anyways. There's a Nest Ball. There's the Roaring Moon. Hmm. I think they have the Knockout with that Secret Box. They can go Sada, Retreat, Dark Patch. Yeah. But... How much damage are they doing exactly? We'll see. So we can go Iono to two. But I can't kill the Roy Moon, though. It's a bit of an issue. I need to find my last future booster capsule. That'd be a pretty good top deck here, to be honest with you. I need my last Arvin. We'll see, though. Hmm. Do I ever roll Pokey Stop to find Pokey Gear for Arvin? Probably not. I don't know. Ooh, they found those cards. They're pretty good cards. I doubt they're going to play the Counter Catcher. They found a Super Rod, though, which can't get that Mooney X back in the deck, which I don't want to see. Because this is really their last attacker, right? Hmm. This is a little scary. Prizy and the other Thorns is honestly going to screw us over. Because Legacy Energy is going to pop here. Yeah, Prizy and the other Thorns is honestly just screwing us over here pretty badly, I think. It's not good. Do they have another Nest Ball for that Mooney X? They bench Mooney X, so we could just boss and hit it. And then make him have another, like, switching card or something. Or, like, some kind of combo. It's not a bad play, either. I don't know. We'll see. How much are they doing? That's the question. All these Lost Cities end up might end up being very good for us. Because, ooh, Trekking Shoes 2, they have that in the deck? This is kind of scary. I need to one-shot this, but I can't. So this is looking pretty bad. Plus one. I don't like that. I mean, literally, I am I might lose the game because my other Iron Thorns is prized. Like, I think I'd win the game if I didn't prize my other Iron Thorns. That's really sad. If my third or my fourth Thorns was not prized, I think I'd win this game. Unless they're playing an Enhanced Hammer in the deck, then I'm screwed either way. Yep, they found the Nest Ball for the Mooney X. The question is, though, do I boss it up? Depends on how much damage they can do this turn. Because if they can one-shot my last Thorns, then boss doesn't feel good. Because they can at least go Sada, Attach, Retreat. Which is why it's like a little sketchy. 210, yeah, it's not looking good. That's not good at all. Why did I have to prize my last thorns? I think I'd win the game if my last thorns was not prized. That's depressing. Can I find future booster capsule? Nope. Okay, honestly. I mean it's kind of down to whether or not we find this future booster capsule, I think. How many gears are we down? I think we got to go for it. I got a thin. I got a thin. Yo, we got a Poke Gear. Yo, it actually paid off. Okay, hold up. Hold up. If we can find Arvin here, we might be cooking. If we actually find our Arvin here, we might actually be cooking. There's one in the deck. There's one future booster capsule. We got it. Nice. Now my opponent needs to somehow win the game. Ah, uh, they could get there. Not having this last stadium also kind of bodies us. No, wait, we can go, wait, no, we can go this. Vacuum booster capsule. Wait, okay, we might be cooking. We can go vacuum away the Pokestop, because I doubt they play more. All right, hold up. Vacuum away Pokestop. Knockout. That might be GG's. If my opponent cannot build up that last Roy Mooney X, we may just have game here. This might be it. We get this thorns off the prizes for insurance? No. Bro, my last prize is my four thorns. No. They promote the moon. That's a good sign. All right, let's see. Do they have it? Can they pull off a win here? I think they're out of Pokestop. We'll see what they got. They have one Sada left in the deck. 
Let's see. Can they pull off a victory here? Let's see if it's possible. It's all down to this. I couldn't Iono them. I had to go Arvin, and it worked out. But let's see if they can win. Let's see if they got it. They have two energy in the deck. They can't Greninja. There's no Pokey Stop in play. We basically had the best turn we could have got outside of being able to disrupt their hand, which probably would have been a lot stronger. But let's see if they have it. We have game in hand. They have to play an Iono or Roxanne too, but I doubt they play an Iono or Roxanne. It's unlikely. I mean, they did, I, I guess. We'll see. That last Thorns being prized still might lose the game because I think we'd still win the game if we literally didn't prize our last Thorns because if they whiff the knockout this turn and we didn't win somehow, having the Thorns would be nice, but pretty awkward prizing because the Legacy Energy did pop in this match, but it just... The last prize is kind of killing me here, folks, but let's see if they can pull off the victory. It's unlikely, but you never know, dude. I don't know what they have in their list exactly. They just got to pride on boss in hand, right? They could have energy switch, which is pretty diabolical too. That can guarantee a Masada, but it is not going to Masada, which is not going to put energy in play. They have to disrupt my hand or knock me out this turn in order to stop me. They can't put booster caps on Flutter main. That doesn't work because I have Greninja on board. I guess like Penny, Penny plus... Okay, it doesn't matter. I was going to say Penny plus like Booster Capsule maybe wins them the game. But it's all Gucci. We got the boss and we got the dub. I did misplay this game by, you know, not moving the basic landing on. And that honestly, honestly could have lost me the game. I think that was very close, especially because this thing was our last prize. <laughs> kind of sucked but we got there in the end uh very grindy matchup very close matchup we had a lot of good luck with crushing hammer crushing hammer actually ended up being very valuable that match too yeah i'm doing good tito hope you're having a good day too we're playing quad thorns all right Let's see we top deck nice we in it still okay i don't know what i'm playing against i'm not gonna play legacy energy just because i don't know what i'm playing against i don't want to like risk it and get like farmed depending on the outcome here we're either gonna go energy lotto high roll dte I should probably just Techno Radar Turbo Energize. I think that's probably the better play, though. We'll see, though. Cheesy? It just means that the deck is just, like... It's just... You just cheese wins. Because it's just... It's just a... It's a stupid deck. <laughs> Playing it's Zard. Okay, good Iono. Well, actually... I mean, before it's Gouging Fire. That's a scary matchup. Pretty good Iono. They go Cleffa. We can KO it and judge him. Squad. No, you can't do that. No! What's up, Charles Entertainment Cheese? What's up, Chimp? How we doing, bro? Long time no see. Bro, no way they got cologne. Can they donk me now? Oh, it's Dragapult. Or Drago, sorry. Oh, boy. That's pretty good. We're still going to go Judge and Pray. Hmm. We know they play Kyrim. Actually, ironically, we can't use Cold Rift. I mean, we can, but... Well, let's... I'm just using a list I made. <sighs> Giratina in the discard. It's not good. I think, I think this matchup's still fine. Like, without Ogre Pond's ability, it's fine. I don't know how many clone they're playing. We're going to find out, though. They with Reggie Drago V turn one. That'd be nice. No shot. They've already attached, though, which makes me feel a little bit better. They haven't. If they have no energy for Teal Dance, it's also pretty good. We can just chill. Some Drago lists do play Cologne, because they can go Prime Catcher, Cologne, Kyrim. Can they win next turn? If they have double cologne, it is theoretically possible. I guess I should play it safe and get double thorns. Check my prizes. So row six in there. Okay. Hammer is also important to get rid of their fire energies. There's a world where they play Noivern, so we have to be mindful of that. Kind of like hitting Drago. Let's see if I can get Arvin here. I'll smack him, I guess. It's fine. They have a two-card hand and can't do much. They did draw the nuts. They got. They could be playing two cologne. They could be playing one cologne. You never know. If they're playing one cologne, then that was kind of lucky. If they're playing two, you know, it's not as uh, unlikely to hit it off the, the thing there. Pick pen again, update your decks. Nice, nice. Do you explore Arbok? Not yet, no. Eventually, we'll try it out. Not on stream, but like eventually, I'll maybe do a video on it. What? How do you have your one of enhanced hammer, bro? No shot. What the hell, bro? They're cooking. Diabolical. Oh my god, are you kidding me, bro? That's annoying. Bro found the one of hammer and one of cologne. That's ridiculous. 
Bro, tech their deck to be quad thorns. What the hell, man? Why is bro gotta be a sap? Yo, get rid of that. All right, please flip heads. This is a good hammer. Yo, let's go. Nice try, Reggie Drago. Not today. Get this out of here. Yeah, bye-bye. I'm going to remove your energy now. How does that feel, bucko? Hmm. It's turbo energize, I guess. Is that really the play? Can I... Well, we can coal risk. Honestly, if we... here's the thing. If they ever want to use Curum... They have to discard all their energy, which is kind of bad for them. So I actually don't really care if they do that. I'm trying to think what I want. Probably just Poke Gear, Turbo Energize, right? Yeah. Just so I have, like, potentially a Judge or something. Jeez. Honestly, the fact they use their Hammer is good, assuming they don't have Legacy Star. Okay, if they have double clone Legacy Star, they could theoretically go... They can get back the Hammer and the Cologne with their Legacy Star and then kind of do that again. That would be annoying. So we have to be mindful of that. Assuming they play double cologne. Drago, Lucky, Guardy, Luck, and Charizard. Luck are unbearable. Drago isn't as bad as Zard for luck, in my opinion. But when they sack you like that, bro, that one of Enhanced Hammer and Cologne is pretty good. Assuming they play... I imagine they play two cologne. But can they fit two cologne? They're already playing, like, jamming towers. I don't even know. What's up, Total Carnage? Okay, what's our top deck? Okay. Let's play Chorus. That does give him Kirin. But like I said, bro, if you want to Kirin me and discard all your energy, bro, be my guest. Because then how are you getting that back into play? Should probably move the Lightning. No way they play Double Hammer. I'm calling Cap on that one. What do we got? Nice. Oh, maybe I should have benched the Thorns. Because theoretically, they could go Kirin and hit all three. But I think it's fine if they Kirin. I don't really care about Kirin. Horus kind of helped us there. I don't, because I don't want Iona there bricking. Thanks for all the great vids on YouTube. Yo, no worries, Chop. Thanks for stopping by on the stream. And Vessel, sure. They actually, I mean, they can KO me with Giratina. They're probably going to drag up pull me, though. Hmm. This is a little sketchy. Do they have it? Do they have V-Star? Hmm. I kind of want them to just YOLO cure me and then be like, oh, nice. All your energy's gone. GG's. Do they have the V-Star? That'd be a little annoying that V-Star here. Okay, no V-Star. Nice. Dragon Laser. That is kind of relevant. Sets up damage. It's fine, though. You can Arvin for Vessel Booster Capsule. Pretty sure Zerosic is a dead card in this matchup. I don't think we need Zerosic. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with getting rid of that. I think it's okay. I don't think Zerosic is very valuable. I want to make sure we two-shot them. So we hit them for 140. Because they, they get the V-Star. They don't have Gudra in the discard. And they're going to struggle to find it without it. So it's probably fine. Is Boss Squawk worth here? Nah. We definitely need to hit this Reggie Drago. There's no reason not to hit the Reggie Drago. Hitting the Drago is 100% the play. Because we need to make sure it's set up to be KO'd. Especially knowing that they have, like, random tech cards like Cologne and Hammer and Jamming Tower. I definitely want to make sure there's no Drago that we have to deal with. That's why I think it's more relevant to hit the Drago. To two-shot it. Their deck is kind of teched out for my for my deck. So it's like, I kind of like trying to deal with the techs first. We'll see what happens. So we do have the ability to boss if they, if they try to hide next turn. We just boss, whatever. I don't think that's going to happen, but you never know. Do they have anything in their hand? Let's see. If they have V-Star boss, they can take three prizes. Wait, no, they can't. What am I saying? I'm trolling. I mean, they. I guess they could cure him here if they have the ability to, because they're going to die anyways. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, Dragon Laser, sure. Putting 30 on both thorns is a little annoying. Okay, and they're not doing that. I was like, if they could put 30 on both thorns, which would... It's not a bad play for them to make. It's fine, though. I really want to Iono. I have game in hand. Ooh, let's go, baby. We got legacy energy. Well, let's hold the hand. I have boss for game. Seems good. Seems good, fam. All right, any good prizes that can help us out? Energy, techno radar, mid. Yo, appreciate that follow there, AX. We just need to win this game, chat, and we can get to the master belt here. 
Why do you capsule the active? So I can hit for 140. I need. I wanted to two-shot the Reggie Drago. All right, that's game. Let's go. All right, we got Master Ball tier chat. See, Drago is a fine matchup. Like, their deck can't function without... And there you have it, folks. That is the Quad Iron Thorns deck in action. As you can see, Chorus's Tenacity ends up being a very useful card within this deck. Being able to get out a free energy and a Lost City ends up being very valuable. And as you saw within this video, the ability to just grab an energy came up a lot. So I'm a really big fan of the Chorus. I kind of want to play three Chorus in this deck. If you can maybe fit it, you could try to play three in the deck. Honestly, maybe we should play a Hisuian Heavy Ball too. Um, maybe even play... Um, a second copy of Canceling Cologne, maybe, if you run into Mimikyu. There are definitely options of ways you can tweak your Iron Thorns deck. I've seen, you know, Eerie, Giovanni's Charisma are also cards that I've seen be played within Quad Thorns. But I really do think Chorus is one of the biggest buffs this deck did get. This deck actually feels really solid right now. I mean, as you saw in this video, a lot of decks really rely on those rule box abilities, especially if Charizard is now going to pivot towards more of a, uh, a, a VEX ability-based deck with Pheasantipity and Rodom and Luminion and Nobiberal, then this deck can really punish that. And I do like it a lot. And I think Quadthorn is definitely a pretty solid deck. Might even be underrated right now, to be honest with you, um, for sure. And the one thing I like about it is you can tweak your list to your liking and kind of play whatever you want within the deck um, and kind of figure out what your 60 wants to look like. Because I don't think there's a perfect 60 for the Thorns deck. I think you just kind of tweak your list to your liking. Uh, that's the best part about it. But hope you enjoyed the video on Quad Thorns here in this new format. If you did enjoy it, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. We are on the road to 64,000 subscribers. I greatly appreciate all the support on the Shrouded Fable content so far been a really having a good time playing all the new decks and all that new stuff and uh yeah hope you enjoyed and i'll catch y'all another video check out my second channel down below if you want to see the first weekend of shroud of fable term results and kind of see charizard not having a great performance this weekend in the online tournament scene definitely check out my second channel down below and i'll catch y'all later Bye bye